And there it is, the Extreme Power US Automated Vacuum. I'm gonna give a few tips in this video that's gonna help you if it is not moving or if it is getting stuck. Uh, those are the two popular topics that have been commented on. And so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing I've noticed, if you are not able to get the vacuum to move is you may have some air in these lines. So it's recommended whenever you go ahead and put it in the pool, try to add water as you go. I tried to uh, leave air in this to demonstrate it, but I actually have trouble getting it not to move. So this pump circulates fine, but you may need to prime it. Uh, what I have had to do once or twice is just go ahead and turn the pump off, remove this hose. You'll get some bubbles, remove the air, add some more water to this, reconnect it and try again. Or number two, you can prime it down here uh, by turning this off. Uh, you can let some air out of this also and right here if you have one of these on your pump you can release air there so first of all just make sure the air is out of the lines uh, the second thing that can cause it not to move and let me show you this it is actually climbing now and you notice i took that uh, blue thing off and this is a tip i was going to get to in a minute but it started doing this i, I noticed is it will climb the wall and get stuck less uh, whenever I have this piece uh, removed from the back of it. Uh, so it goes ahead and when it comes to right here, it actually bounces against the wall and will climb. Now once or twice that hose has still gotten hung here, uh, which I'll address a tip I might be able to do later for that as well. But you see how that went that way. So it decreases the chance of getting stuck just by removing this uh, right here. And when it gets to this area, it forces it on the wall and it actually climbs the wall. And it'll climb the wall in various areas with this off, but that's the only time I've ever seen it do that. Uh, back to the other topic, which is how to keep it moving. The second thing I would do is go ahead and you turn your pump off and remove uh, this right here. And you may just have too much stuff in here. Uh, because you're bypassing this skimmer, you're getting leaves, debris, and everything. And when it gets in here and this gets full, it's going to not allow much suction. Uh, so keep this cleaned regularly. Check this. It could be completely covered. And you need to remove the strainer from inside here. And put it back in. And you may be back in business. And there it goes. And the last tip I have is, of course, right here. You want to make sure, actually my gauge is broke, so I need to get a new one. Uh, you want to make sure you don't need to backwash. But if your gauge is broken, you can usually tell a little bit right here by checking the pressure. And if you don't have much pressure, you may need to backwash. There actually is one more tip I was going to give here. If you, uh, I'll have to wait till that gets somewhere where I can grab it and show you you may get some paper or a leaf on the bottom of that and you just need to raise it up and remove it and it could prevent some suction. You'll also notice I've got this return pointed down and the reason for that is um, of course when my pool skimmer is skimming through the top of the water right here I would always uh, want the water kind of circulating in a circulating motion. Uh, but when this vacuum's going, if you force a whirlpool of the water going in one direction, you're going to keep this uh, vacuum all kind of going on one side of the pool. It'll, it'll cause it not to uh, clean the pool quite as evenly. So you'll want to try to make the pool water naturally uh, calm. That way it'll, like right now, you may get a whirlpool and start pushing it sideways or or some way. But right under this, I'm just going to show here. Turn this upside down. There's the opening. And that, it's got a little flapper in there, which uh, keeps it going with the pressure. But if a big leaf or something does get stuck there, it can cause it to uh, uh, actually lose suction. But typically, I mean, I've seen it, it'll typically go ahead and pick most of the stuff up. I've only had that issue one time uh, where I had to do that. Put that back down there. 
But if you did check those things, if you're having it where it's just sitting on the bottom and it ain't moving, it's not moving, or you don't hear these clicking sounds, um, one of those things will probably resolve it. Other than that, just make sure you have a proper three-fourths or better horse-powered pump, and you'd be fine. Now, I was going to show you what I was talking about over here. When it gets stuck right here, uh, I had a viewer actually suggest and said what he did is he got a chlorine bottle, filled it with sand, and just placed it here. You could place one here and one on the other side. Uh, that way, when it gets right here, it would go ahead and bounce around. So that's one suggestion. One thing I might try uh, here in the future, uh, but if you do uh, have it getting stuck in areas, you can also try to just go ahead and remove this guy and and just see if it doesn't help it it works fine with and without it um, it climbs the walls it seems to without it and with it it just kind of bounces around the walls and of course it tends to get stuck like that now i do have a full video that shows you how you can go ahead and get this thing set up um, check it out it's actually the last video if you want to see me go ahead and from start to finish go ahead and hook it up put it in the pump and that type of thing um, actually there is one more tip I forgot to mention if it is getting stuck you might also adjust the pressure and you can see that in the previous video as well but you turn this pump off and you just go ahead and remove uh, this right here and this uh, will increase the pressure and reduce the pressure uh, that you're getting when you're vacuuming so um, you might need to increase it uh, because it's not got enough power to get around an object or you might want to decrease it uh, that way it will uh, not have enough power to get stuck so you can tinker with it and see which works best for you so once again uh, Check out my last video for the full details of this, and I'll be giving you more videos real soon right here on A Barry's Pool. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe for more swimming pool videos.